YouTube, it's Lena, and since my internet is out right now because it sucks, I'm going to catch up on some filming. Right now I have for you my Ipsy bag. It's actually a cute little, you know, graffiti bag. I don't know how well you could see all the stuff on it. Like it's super cute. But as always, first I'm going to review the things that I got last month, and I'm going to go ahead and admit this right now. This hydrating mask I have not used. I have been working on other masks for my Project Pan, so I have been going kind of hardcore with those and this got pushed aside. In a future Ipsy video, I will mention this when I get to try it and let you guys know how it worked out though. I have tried everything else. First, I will go with this It Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Liner. I really like this. I mean, I have already used enough of it to kill the tip. Now, I, this is one of those that rolls up really slowly, but it's super black. It stays on. It stays in place on me. I really enjoy it. I'm not wearing it today. I'm wearing my Kat Von D. Because the one thing about it is because it's, you know, a rounded tip rather than a pointed one, you get a bit of a thicker line, and that's just not what I wanted today. But I normally do wear a thicker eyeliner anyway, so this is usually totally fine. <laughs> Next is this Vera Mona uh, Eye Smudger eyeshadow brush it's dirty right now because i used it the other day but this is what it looks like um i'm not a huge fan of smudging eyeliner under my eye i like more precise lines when i put eyeliner not eyeliner eyeshadow under my eye but i did try that one day and it worked i guess fine it looked like what it looks like when people smudge eyeshadow under their eyes but I have been using this also as an eyeshadow brush and it does work really well for that. I mean, it's a little small, so you gotta go back in a little bit more, but it works for it. So that means I get another brush for that. So something that did not work out very well was this Aurora Gel Effect Nail Lacquer in Safety Orange. First off, my husband hated the color. I mean, not that if it's something I like, I don't let that bother me but I didn't really like this either. This had like a weird semi matte finish that with this color looks extra bad. And even though it's supposed to be gel, it's supposed to have that gel effect where it lasts longer, this chipped in like a day. So I certainly don't see anything special about it and I will be passing that on to somebody that hopefully wants to wear bright orange nails, which on your toes is one thing, but it's not really my thing. And lastly, for as much as I complained about getting another Pacifica eyeshadow, this is one of my favorite things in the bag. <laughs> I mean, fair enough, I didn't try one thing and, you know, one thing didn't work out for me at all, but these were really pretty and pretty pigmented on the eye. And even better, they stayed in place with just eyeshadow primer. Like normally I wear an eyeshadow primer and a base and then I put on my eyeshadow. I forgot to put on a base the day I wore these, so I'm like, oh, well, I guess I'll just get extra tested. They stayed all day. And I got a compliment from one of the girls at Sephora on my eyeshadow look, and I'm laughing on the inside saying, ha ha, I got it from Ipsy. So I really like this. <laughs> um, I guess it, I guess Pacific has improved their formula a little bit or something. I mean, their packaging is still rinky dinky as all get out, but the eyeshadow itself, let me swatch it for me for you in case you don't remember from last month. You know, you don't really get the best swatches with your finger, but you know, that doesn't always tell you anything anyway. But they build up really nicely on the eye and they stay in place. So I really have no complaints about these. And it does make a really pretty eye look. So let's get out with the old and in with the new. Let's see, uh, they sent the card, which I've since said before that if they're not gonna put the products on the cards, I don't get the point of sending out these cards. It's just a waste of paper or cardboard or whatever. I got some interesting products this month, like stuff I've never gotten from them before. Let's see. Well, first off, I guess I'll go into like the big ticket item. I got the Urban Decay Fireball Eyeshadow. This is not a full size. I have full size Urban Decay eyeshadows and this is not that. However, this is still a really nice size for an eyeshadow. It is magnetic, so I can pop it into a Z palette after this. 
And I have to remember the name of the darn thing because it's not on the back. This is not a, I will say, this is not a super pigmented eyeshadow, but you know, a couple of swipes and it builds up really nicely. I admit, I kind of wanted the green one, but this has a neat little duochrome to it that I was not expecting either. So I'm happy to play with that and see what I can come up with. Next is a product that, like I said, I've never gotten anything like this from Ipsy before, but I'm not complaining. It's something new. This is the Japanesque, a brand I have not gotten from them ever either, Solid Brush Cleanser, Gentle Goat Milk Cleansing Balm. So this is it right here. <sighs> Let's open the sucker up and see what it smells like, because I am hoping it does not smell like goat butt or something awful. It does not smell like goat butt, thank God. It's, you know, just a little solid cleanser. Let's see what's in it. Goat milk, water, glycerin, sodium, some horrible name that I can't pronounce. It looks like it has fruit oil, olive, vegetable oil, blah, blah, blah. I can't quite put my finger on the smell. Like it's a little herbally, but not that overpowering herbally that I can't really stand. So that's good that it doesn't stink because I was kind of worried and I hadn't, you know, opened it up yet, even though I got this the other day. Let's see. Next is the 12 Benefits Instant Healthy Hair Treatment. And I've seen some people use this online, but I've never come into contact with it before. Seals color, smooths repairs, improves texture and manageability, prevents split ends, moisturizes, strengthens, protects from chlorine, which I have a pool, so I really need that, wind and sun, prevents flat iron damage, adds shine and softens, protects from blow drying, anti-age formula. This is what it looks like right here. Let's see what you smell like. Oh, you smell good. Like hair stuff, good, but good. And this is, this is thicker than I was expecting. I don't know how well you could see that, but it's not a liquid. It's a little bit jelly-like. So that's neat. It does have a little spray on it. I am always happy to try new things of this because my hair, if I don't take care of it, gets bad really quick. Next is a Seraphine Botanics Happy Hibiscus 99% Natural Blush for All Skin Tones. And it is, let's see, 99% vegan, no, 99% natural vegan, no mineral oil, no parabens, no phthalates, gluten-free, hypoallergenic, non-comedogenic, which is a thing that can make you break out with nutrient rich kale and clay and not tested on animals. This is all that kind of good stuff back here. And this is the little blush. It's got some cute little packaging on it. I don't think this is a full size. I can't look it up right now because my internet's down, but. And here it is right here. I have swatched this before this video. It's, if I remember correctly, a very natural looking blush. Like something I'm going to have to fool with a little bit to see how I like it. It does come with a mirror on it though. If, if that's something that you're into. Let's see, and let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, this is the one, two, three, four. Yeah, this is the last one. This. I don't like getting mascaras from things because I have so many, but whatever. This is the Duce or Duce, it's D-O-U-C-C-E. Boombastic Lash Volumizer Mascara. This, I cannot imagine this is a full size, but I will be trying this, so I will go ahead and open it. Oh, it's one of those wands that I hate. It does not smell bad, so that's always good. It's one of those thick plastic bristles that I always manage to jab myself with in some way. Looks, got a, looks like it's got a little bit of that spiky ball thing on the end too, like the uh, Benefit They're Real thing does. So we shall definitely be seeing about this. Who knows? It might be great and I might be worrying over nothing. Anyway, that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I really do appreciate it and hopefully I will see you later. Bye!